yo, this your boy Romeo 615 videos here, and I'm uh, basically gonna give y'all a little rundown of this program. You gotta excuse the audio, I'm using the mic on the HTC Vive, it is practically a piece of shit. So, there's that. Now, I'm in this program. I'm redoing this video to address some of the things that I do and don't like and I really feel like need to be fixed in this program. Due to the sound, I'm not going to play a lot of shit because you won't really hear my voice over the stuff that's playing in the background. So, let's talk about the shit that's good and bad about this program. The very, 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 very bad shit about this program. So, we go to new. We're set up. There's a blank canvas. There's nothing here, but I assume a textured background, which would be a picture. And I don't even think those fake mountains are 3D. So, we should, one, be able to come and customize how the background looks. That should be something that's simple to do, whether you just upload a picture. Whatever the case may be, you need to be able to change the background. All right, let's go to this. So... The first issue that I have is the save feature. There is no option to save as. And what I mean is, let's pretend that we have this elaborate studio set up. You know, we've got everything just the way we want it. We should be able to come load up this setup, immediately save it as under another name, setup three. So now, or like, let's just say I was gonna name it a beat, trap beat three. I should be able to save as trap beat three. From there, I begin compiling my beat. That's the, the first thing that it needs. The second and one thing that I think is super, super key to this program is you're able to scale stuff and move it around, you know. I should be able to take this, grab it and drag it and make a copy of it it should be the same size let's just say that this was already hooked into a speaker or whatever the case a drum kit let's say this was hooked into the drum kit i should be able to just copy this and essentially do the same thing with the drums so i would have my drums my snare my hi-hat whatever the sounds i want to load on so that's one thing that this program essentially needs. Like, without it, there's such a time sink waste in taking stuff and removing and sending it. Like, it's such a pain in the ass. It makes it almost to the point where I personally wouldn't use the program. All right, let's go back and start anew. Now, another thing I feel like this program needs is a ease of use. Now, if I'm a person who's never use this program or don't know much about making beats i want to start and i want to start simply i want to take a trackpad right i want to take my trackpad and put my sounds on it by default i should be able to click something and just load the samples here now i'll give you the benefit of the doubt and say that's a little too much work all right so i'll take my sampler i should be able to take my sampler run it into this uh, let me stop and, and emphasize this another feature that this program needs plugging this shit in looks cool but in reality it's a pain in the fucking ass look at all this time i'm wasting trying to figure out where which plug goes into this thing now after you know using it for a while you might say oh you know it's easy da -da -da -da. this is how it's done in the industry Guess what? I'm a fucking regular user at home. I'm not an industry professional, so I shouldn't know about that. Now, that being said, here's another thing I don't like about this program that needs to be fixed. These are my samples. We're going to pretend that this was a good-ass trap, trap kit, right? Load it in. I should be able to hit it and hear it. Nothing. What do I have? I have this raggedy-ass... This is n nothing's happening, right? I'm clicking it. I should be able to hear that. Simple and easy. I want this sound. I want it on this thing. And that's it. Nothing more. I shouldn't have to do anything else. That's bullshit that I have to. I shouldn't have to do anything else. Problem number two. If I decide to 
take this chord out, I'm stuck with a loop. Not only am I stuck with a loop, I have no way of altering the time in this loop. Like, I can't drag this and stop it right here. So it just immediately cuts off right here instead of going this extra distance. That's fucking bullshit needs to be fixed. The fact that it's looping and I have no way to stop it, maybe I don't even know if you guys can hear me over that fucking loop. But what I'm basically saying is the fact that I can't stop that loop is just continuously looping why i don't know it's retarded it just doesn't work it doesn't fit well at all now as i was saying i don't know if you can hear me but i'll give you an example so as you see with that tom the line goes way past where the note stops we should have the freedom to chop that off right there and just literally have the thing play like where we want it. it shouldn't stretch for a longer duration if there is a program or option in here that lets you turn it down it's not immediately available for the average user to know this so it doesn't help me any it doesn't help me even if it's there i don't know that and i shouldn't have to add a bunch of other shit plug it in here just to get it to function the way that i feel like it should function from the beginning all right, you should go there. So, that being said, I'm assuming that's the, the cons out of the way. Um, the thing I do like about the program, really what drew me into it was just the visual cues. And what I mean by that is, you know, here's the speaker, right? You can scale this speaker up. I don't know if the scale makes a difference in the sound, but you can scale the speaker up. So let's just say I've got this kick. You see it reacts with the light of the speaker. So just imagine that just imagine that we had this elaborate setup where we had this crazy beat and it's just going off. Bing, bong, bing. You know, you would be able to have multiple speakers around lighting up. The fact that you can't change the color, don't really like that. If it could be added, a little slider here. You know, I think there really needs to be an option menu on the side. Just like how I have this questionnaire box, I should be able to click a little options button, you know, change the color of the light change a few things in terms I, I can't say so much for the speaker but like let's just say if this was you know a note a drum kick i should be able to just from that little thing be able to pitch it down a little bit just so i could get that, or that you know i should be able to do that simply right here i shouldn't have to grab other shit to do that that being said I'll take you through some of the sounds. Uh, this program was definitely not made with hip hop people in mind. It was, in my opinion, made for people doing dubstep and them type of shenanigans. Now, a skill beat maker, you know, hip hop beat maker would be able to make some shit out of this. Nigga, I'm in 2016. There's no fucking way I'm finna be using these garage band sounds. Like, nah. But the point I'm making with. So you get what I'm saying. The the fact that he put custom where you can make your own custom, that's dope. Uh, your own recordings or whatever, that's dope. So we'll see how that works when I learn this program a little bit better. Um, I can't really think of what else to say because, again, I made a video and it just turned out fucked up, so I remade this video. But basically, that's just some of the things that I want to explain to the developer that I feel like should be fixed, need to be fixed. Um, and if you don't plan on fixing it, just give it to some other developers on Reddit who can add to it, you know, who ain't trying to steal your hard work, but can at least make it useful for, like, the average person who wants to buy it and play with it and get good with it you know another thing uh i might have hinted on this but i'm gonna hint on it again all right so you see this keyboard right where is the speaker controlling this because the thing that pisses me off is i literally 
and let me double check to make sure I'm not just saying it. Okay, I didn't have to hook the speaker up to hear the sound. I don't like how I don't like how it's looping, but I didn't have to hit the speaker. But the thing I don't like about like say this keyboard, right? Where is the invisible speaker? Where's the invisible speaker at? Alright, so to change the sounds on this keyboard, I would have to grab a, a sampler and basically load. And again, I don't know which plug goes where. It should by default just fucking hook. Like, you gotta fix that, dude. I should just be able to grab this, you know, grab a cord, do that, and it hooks where it's supposed to. I, I don't need to physically plug it in the right spot. And I mean, like, that looks cool, but it's the pain in the ass. Now, let's load up a sample. So, problem number one. Problem number one. Why is it so hard for me to just take a kick, put it in the sampler, put it in the keyboard? Should work, no questions asked. There shouldn't be anything else I have to do to it. The fact that this thing loops, that fucking sucks. There's no way for me to stop this loop. Um, again, as a novice music maker, I shouldn't need to know that I need to take another whatever from here and hook it up just to make it where it don't do that. That's bullshit. I should just be able to take this, plug it in, and simply play the desired sound. But as you see, I'm not getting that. As you see, as you see, I'm not getting that. So I don't fucking like that. I don't understand what it is and why it's like that. It makes absolutely no sense at all. Absolutely no sense. Uh, all right, I think I'm going to cut the video because I, I don't want to prolong it and sit here and talk about the same stuff over and over. So you see this? This is bullshit. I, I I should not have to go through this. I should just be able to pick this up and immediately play. Uh, they, they, I, I shouldn't have to go through any of this. Again, with this, the, the, the touchpad, I still don't know why I cannot hear any sound from the touchpad. Now, maybe you might say, hey, you got it in the wrong thing. I don't know. I shouldn't have to know that. It should just work. So this is Romeo 615. This is the first video I'm doing on this program. And again, this was a shitty video. The audio is crap. I basically just wanted to get in here and show y'all what the program looked like. Some of the stuff about the program that I just don't like. And some of the stuff that I do like about the program. I mean, the great thing about it is once you got all this shit running right and you got a hell of a beat, the lights, the ambience, I mean, it's, it's amazing. And you can really come in here in front on... Um, some little Fruity Loop niggas who just making their little beats regular on their little cheap ass laptops. You know, we over here in virtual reality thugging it out. So, that's what it is. Romeo 615. Bing, bing.